Hello boys and girls, we're back with more Sherlock Holmes. Um, second riddle, there's uh, riddle, second case, riddle on the rails, the railway riddles. My analysis table, it is useful. We're back to staring at... <coughs> Uh, Look after Mrs. Hudson for us, Toby. Wonderful uh, neighbor. Look after Mrs. Hudson for us, Toby. Holmes, please call a cab while I pack my suitcase. We should be late for the train. But Mycroft told us we're going to be map of London and the surrounding area. It only be seven minutes late. I think we'll be fine. My archive. I can... <gasps> a letter. No escape from London police. The grotesque murder of the former Captain Peter Carey, known in private as Black Peter, has been resolved. The evidence that Scotland Yard received from a trustworthy source was more than sufficient to conclude that the murderer of Peter Carey was Patrick Cairns, one of Carey's former harpooners. In fact, the dangerous criminal was caught single-handedly by brave Inspector Lestrade in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Patrick Cairns is now sentenced to death. Lestrade, you bastard! Um, personality ranking, justice seeker. I guess, does that change as you choose different um, options, I guess? Souvenirs. Harpoon that was used to kill Black Peter. Hmm. Okay. Uh, whilst I'm here, is there anything else? We can obviously make up arise ourselves Watson I'll hold a cab for us we leave in five minutes for the station we leave in five minutes Brr, what a gloomy night it was warmer inside the waiting hall since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention, the train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. But, Holmes, the headlight, it's faded away. Something is wrong. I can't hear any sound from the incoming train. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. It, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. Well, bugger. Holmes, say something. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> fetch a lantern and let us take a look. Oh, I think I know. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Uh, there is no use in stumbling around here at night. We will come back tomorrow. Hmm. Solve the mystery of the vanished train. Well, here we are again at Evesham Station. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. Yes. What should we do next, Holmes? Next? What should we do first? This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult with it if needed. It is fortunate that we took it with us. Okay, that's good. Evesham. Oops. Hello, Orsi. 
Doobity poop. First of all, let us examine the area where the train disappeared. No. First of all, let's do exactly what I want to do, which is explore. This is the place where we saw the train vanish last night. Railway sleepers. Nothing unusual. A discarded item. Possibly thrown from the train. There are no tracks or footprints on the ground. The rails have not been touched. There's nothing unusual here. There are no signs to indicate that the train ran off the track. Nor are there any other traces. There is nothing whatsoever. Hmm. There are no clues. But then, a negative result is also a result. Oh, I see what you're getting at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. This mystery appears very promising. This investigation won't be simple. We shall require a map of the region. Perhaps the station master could lend us one. The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. Not only did it disappear, it disappeared without making a noise, which is quite incredible. Quite incredible. Hello, who are you? Good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Yes, I remember you. I'm Station Master Everett. You were here last night. So, you are Mr. Holmes, the great detective. Will you be investigating what happened? I shall indeed. It is extraordinary that an entire train could disappear like that. And to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver. Mm-hmm. Could you please give us any details about the train? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> However, if you need it, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. I would be glad to have a detailed map of the local railway district. But of course, please, take the one that's pinned inside the waiting hall. See you later, my good man. Thanks, chap. Right, before we go in there, let's do a little bit more... ...inspectigating. Okay, that's too far that way, apparently. Down there is some trolleys and some uber schnitzels. That person over there. There is a person over there. Let's go talk to them. Well. An old locomotive bell. This part is probably from a locomotive. This I suspect they're all for locomotives, Sherlock. <laughs> 
It's like the epitome of no shit Sherlock. This part is probably from a locomotive. <laughs> oh, do you think so? Incredible. Incredible deductive skills there. Colour me. Impressed. Right, two more. Two more places to check. We've got this place. The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. This map will be useful. So that's Evesham to Nottingham to London. Is there anything I can do with it? Is that saying that's where the train disappeared around here? So it was coming in from Nottingham to London, I presume. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. The... We would go we were leaving London, right? Which means the train would have been coming this way, which means you'd expect the train to have gone missing over here. Hmm, curious. Curious. Railway post bags. Message to all stations. Mr. Robinson is located at Bridlington Station. A new telegram. I think we should meet this Mr. Robinson. Uh, Station Master of Evesham. This man is in his 60s and he has been married for a long time. The fresh spots of earth upon his sleeves reveal a passion for gardening. His badge of honourable station master reveals that he's a long-standing employee. All of this demonstrates his desire to live a quiet and stable life. Uh, Nottingham to London. Locomotive coal, first class postal wagon, special wagon ordered by Mr. Robinson, second class car. So it was going back to London. Here is the train set. First class postal wagon, special wagon ordered by Mr. Robinson. Second class car. Okay, so the only thing unusual is the A special telegram. wagon. Right, where's Mr. Robinson? No. Can I go talk to those people down there? Is it? Literally does not want me to escape. Okay, Mr. Robinson. Maybe the station master will tell me who he is. According to the train composition report, there was a special wagon 
What does that entail? That's a highly secure car, ordered by a private party. Uh, it is generally to carry something of value. Uh, those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows. Uh, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, that's private. And it's not my responsibility to allot the wagons to whoever. Was there anything exceptional about any of the passengers aboard the train? What do you mean? Like officials? Oh, I wouldn't know. Oh, oh, but now that you mention it, yes, there was something. There was a message from Bridlington Station saying that the train had been delayed because of an issue with the passengers. But what kind of problem that they didn't say? That is interesting. You mentioned a problem at Bridlington Station. I should like to visit this station. Could you mark it on the local map? Of course. It's a suburban railway station. You might take a cab there. See you later, my good man. Evgen Station Master received a message informing of the trains delay due to some issue with passengers at Bridlington Station. Let's go to Bridlington. Okay, here we are, Bridlington Station. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? Oh, I don't know, Watson. Hello, angry passenger. This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. I would agree. The UK rail system's fucking garbage. Work clothes. Cheap ticket. Married. Rough skin. Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? Concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector, who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train, and he was extremely rude about it. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared, but I don't care because we would have stopped before then anyway. Our tickets were valid and no doubt about it. And then, to top it all, the ticket inspector pushed everyone else out too, except for a bunch of rich. Well, of course their type don't need a ticket. Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. All right. Advisor. It's a scandal, an absolute outrage. Now, now, racist, Mr. Robinson. Good day to you, sir. Good day. To whom am I speaking? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is. Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. We are not from the railway company. We are. Well. In that case, Mr. Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat at the moment. There is no need for that, sir. He 
does have an Australian hat and accents. With his expensive clothes and his heavy gold ring. And his crocodile skin shoes. You must be Mr. Robinson, is that correct? Yes. I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to hide. I presume it was you who placed the order for the special wagon. Yes, it was to transport my valuable prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. It is capable of producing electricity. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention, but I was very optimistic about the director's board who were traveling on the train last night. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment with them. Now they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. What do you know about the Barcazis company? It's a large South American company. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype, and they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. Hmm. This revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? For God's sake, sir. It is priceless. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian, you see. I do not know if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you traveling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received the telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So yes, of course, I agreed to see him. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed. So I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Absolutely unacceptable. The timetable is strict. We cannot wait any longer. The regulations require the train to be on time. You are an idiot. You will pay for it. I will sue you. <laughs> the ticket inspector forced all the passengers from the train except for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean Company. I will not move from here until I receive my refund. Where's the ticket inspector gone? He was like literally in this room during that cutscene. Absolutely outrageous. There's a gap in the floor. There's a sheet of paper. The insurance policy for Robinson's machine. A significant sum. Insurance organized by Thomas L. Robinson for his prototype called the Autonomous Electricity Generator. This policy partially covers the loss of the prototype up to 50% of its value. Maximum cover amount £15,000, insurance duration, one year, renewable. So he said it's a very valuable machine. He was selling it next to nothing. The Chileans were interested in it. Conveniently, it's now been stolen. The Chileans presumably now have the machine. He can claim it back on his refund and get a lot more than what he was selling it for in the first place. Everybody's happy except the insurance company. Uh... Case closed. Robinson is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society, clearly indicated by his expensive clothes and golden ring. His Australian hat and crocodile shoes may allow us to deduce that he is a foreigner who travelled to England. Most likely he is here due to a business trip. 
the angry passenger. By this passenger's hands and clothes, he appears to be a specialized worker. He has no baggage and is alone. He is not traveling, nor on vacation uh, with his wife. He takes the train on a daily basis to get to work and back. In this event, he should be accustomed with the railway and be familiar with the stations and his regular fellow passengers. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am investigating the unfortunate disappearance of last night's train. I see. Uh, I'm Station Master Bertram, but my supervisor has not informed me about this. I do not know if... Uh, do not worry. I have only a few questions. Station Master Everett from Evesham told us that you reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, everyone was asked to get off the train here at my station. I've no idea why, and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious passengers who are complaining about the company's service. They stayed here the whole night, but people do not usually pay much attention to the regulations, you see. There are very strict and clear rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G-43 states that in the event of a complaint, you must... Yes, yes, thank you. I understand. Come on, then. Let's see what you're all about. You're a young whippersnapper with uh, clean clothes and instructions to master... I guess that's probably he's, he's new to the job. Apart from the passengers disembarking, did you notice anything else that was unusual last night? I did, and I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Confidential, you say? How long have you been working here? I have worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. Let me speak frankly, Mr. Bertram. Your age and your lack of confidence in your position are quite apparent. You cannot deny that you have only recently completed your studies. I was at the top of my class. Listen here, young man. I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent the law. And you are obstructing the investigation of an important case. I would suggest that you cooperate with Mr. Holmes. Yeah. Think of your career. Ah, that is... Well, I'll tell you everything. First of all, I scolded the ticket inspector, for it was he who asked the passengers to leave the train. It was not his right to do so. He was very rude. And then, later on, I received a most peculiar telegram from my colleague at Chesterfield Station, the next stop along the line. Chesterfield. The That's where say. I'm from. Well, that was the peculiar thing. It was almost unreadable. It was full of errors and well, awful near, events. Nearby. It was hard to understand if the train had correctly passed that station or not. You can read it for yourself. We ought to visit Chesterfield Station. <gasps> we need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. Uh, Chesterfield... Chesterfield Lailway Etation. Trenner Arriveg a Duarted e. Don't touch anything, please. Shut up. Touch what I want. Holmes, how is it even possible for <sighs> a train to disappear? Watson, shut up. A telegraph. According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. 
I must have lost it when I tried to send a message, which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon my word, you keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage room? I've had other things to think about. I lost my prototype, and this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. Station master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. I'll do it right away, sir. Sorry, sir. This Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. I will not move from here until I receive my reef. It's a scandal. An absolute outrage. Yes, yes. Completely and utterly scandalous. Railway post bags. This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. I think we should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Of course. Okay. Let's just, uh... Start breaking in then, shall we? Well, well, well. What do we have? Look, Watson. A bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them carefully. Okay. Exclusive sales contract regarding the prototype. Invention dedicated to appliance supplying electricity in an autonomous way. Emerson Electric Company, the buyer, understand that they are purchasing this device as is and are in agreement uh, Mr. Thomas L. Robinson, the seller, is not responsible for any problems that may arise with the prototype after the purchase, whether or not these issues are known by either party at the time of purchase. The buyer is obligated to make repayment in the amount of 10% of the prototype price in advance upon signing of the contract. The remainder should be transferred within a one-month term. An exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. This is an exclusive sales contract regarding the prototype uh, invention dedicated to appliance supplying electricity in an autonomous way. Hong Kong General, the buyer, understand that they are purchasing this device as is and are in agreement. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Not responsible for any problems. The buyer is obligated to blah, blah, blah. Yet another exclusive sales contract. This one is Mr. the Robinson is the seller. Chilean company. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. Hmm. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. I am going to need to go to Chesterfield Station, of course. First things first, let's... Uh... Have a bit of a dilly-dally around here. And also, let's check some of these connections. So we've got
Train vanished with people. Accident. The Chileans stay on the train was just a coincidence. The train conductor overlooked them. Or Chileans were left. The directors of the Chilean bar, Spacaza's company, were intentionally left on the train. The controller removed all passengers from the train. I think it's probably that one. Special wagon prototype has insurance. Robinson's motive. The loss of the prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robinson thanks to the insurance and multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. And then we have no trace of the trains. Robinson's motive. Uh, the loss of the prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robinson thanks to the insurance and multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. Or he's a victim. The loss of the machine is a disaster for Mr. Robinson. Even though he planned this fraud, he has lost far more than he could gain. The insurance will not cover the total cost of the prototype. But he was selling it for cheap. We can change it. I think at the moment I'm going to say I, I'm not a big fan of him. Right now. <sighs> right, what else did we have? Uh, we just have solved the mystery. We can go to Chesterfield now. Dialogue. The Chesterfield Station Master's report about the vanished train was full of errors and barely readable. It's hard to understand if he confirmed the train passed through his station or not. The Station Master of Bridlington is fairly young. He tries to keep his uniform clean and he is attentive to his duties. Fresh ink stains upon the fingers of his right hand indicate that this young man has been writing a great deal. It seems that he has almost completed his education and this is his first serious position. Um, okay, let's go to Chesterfield. This doesn't look anything like Chesterfield Station. I've been there numerous times. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. I know, Watson, I know. Right, we need to go talk to the station master. First things first. Let's have a bit of a wander around the outside of the building and see if there's anything suspicious. A handcar wheelbase. Interesting. It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Watson, please tell me. Do you believe in magic? Of course not, Holmes. Then you are of the opinion that a train cannot simply disappear. Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? A little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Well, yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. Oh, uh, but... Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. But this is the point, Watson. What if it was all flim-flam? Uh, spare parts of a handcar, no trace. And that gives us this. Fake train experiment. The dismantled handcar seems directly connected to our mystery. Reconstruct the handcar to see if it can imitate the vanished train. Okay. 
I should use the appropriate object here. I should use the appropriate object here. I should use the appropriate object here. On the wooden base. What's the appropriate object to use on a wooden base? Oh, I can rotate. That makes a lot more sense. I should use the appropriate object here. The brake joints need something that looks... Breaky. Is it just me being blind? Ah. What else was it? There was one more thing, wasn't there? I should use the appropriate object here. Brake joints. Is there anything? Aha! So, now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Be patient, Watson. I haven't finished yet. Try using your imagination. Our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. This Robinson fellow seems suspicious to me. We need to attach a headlight and a steam whistle. Okay. Uh, train spare parts. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Is there anything else in here whilst we uh, are at it? A long pole and a fire extinguisher. Doobity boop boop boo. The long pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. The headlight is attached. The steam whistle is now connected. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my dear Watson. We shall need a fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher. Now let us see what we have here. It's elementary. The steam whistle is ready to be used. Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So, such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Ah, at any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surrounding. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. Oh dear.
vanished earlier. The train never reached Evesham. It disappeared earlier and was faked by somebody using a handcar and spare train pass from the Chesterfield station. Okay. Locked. It's locked. A fishing advertisement. This bin is full of empty bottles. Wait, are they the same bottles as the ones we saw on the railway station? Huh? 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 A telegraph. I had thought that all station masters knew the Morse code, but apparently not. Is he an alcoholic? <laughs> How could he fall asleep at work like this? Excuse me, sir. Wake up. Ah, his breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. And that explains the how. By his sleeping off the alcohol, you mean? Wake up, please, huh. sir. What? The 18 hours 72 train has arrived? Good day to you. We are investigating the disappearance of last night's train, and we should like to ask you a few questions. Red nose, alcoholic. Clean clothes. He is married, unlucky lady. Were there any passengers who got off that particular train at your station last night? No, nobody, it seems to me. Although I did not leave my office, so... No doubt you were very busy. You don't say. You can't ever get any peace around here. Now you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives and departs. Oop. The station master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired. But I did my work. So what? There's no need to be so petty. I clearly remember that train. Is this where, so this is where you catch him in a fib. He says, I clearly remembered that train. It's not going to be that. I don't think it's train composition. I guess binge drinking. You were not tired. You were inebriated. Tell me the truth now, or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked from your position. All right. So I was drunk. I don't remember all of yesterday, to be truthful to you. Please don't go harsh on me. Holmes, this man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. Hmm. Past Chesterfield, the train passed through Chesterfield Station despite our oh, being unsure if the station master sent the report. The train never passed through Chesterfield. The station master was drunk and his testimony seems unreliable. Unreliable, he could have sent the report without witnessing the train.
potentially it missed Chesterfield then. <clears throat> Please continue the invest. Okay, that's good. That tell. So in the last uh, case, when it said you've got all the clues, that literally meant you you found everything. So what do I need to do now? Solve the mystery of the vanished train. Okay. We wanted to check my search search the old now map. We have two maps. We must combine them properly. That's it, isn't it? Like, is it just being overly... Or are there lots of different areas that it, that it could relate to? Uh, so I guess actually that one. Like Here that. it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham. And there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham Station. Okay. So we've got Bridlington, Railway Switch, Chesterfield, Station, Evesham. but it still works. Are these something? First person mode. Examine the side railway branch that begins at the railway switch. Mines. This is interesting. for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. Yes. Did I have any more clues? I did not. Here are the mines homes. They appear to be abandoned. The distance between the tracks is about four feet eight inches. A lightly loaded vehicle came this way. There is a wooden beam lying on the rails. A small vehicle with wooden beams 
went down this way. Hmm. How very suspicious. Can't go any further. It's like the, uh, the, the train graveyard in Final Something Fantasy. Completely collapsed, Holmes. It is curious, but to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's difficult to follow you, Holmes. Empty place, traces on the ground, missing rails. Someone removed these screws, most probably to take down the rails. A few feet of the rails have been dismantled. Okay, but why? Collapsed mine, piles of stone, paper package. Hmm, this is an unusual kind of paper. Stiff and dry. It was used for a specific purpose. Let us look inside. Sawdust. I am almost certain it is a... Watson, could you assist, please? Do you have your pistol? Good. Fire at this package. Dynamite. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Right, so they... So has it only collapsed recently, then? Has someone blown it up? You'd hear it, though, surely. Somebody would have done, you'd think. What's that say? Mine guards. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. Okay. Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mines. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could help. No instruction to all we are called security personnel. We inform you that the representatives of Barcazas group are granted free access from now on. This company is the future owner of the mines. Also starting from today, a no trespassing rule is upheld against any representative of the Caracal Consortium. The preliminary contract of sale has been cancelled. Do not provide any explanation. This information is confidential. The Chesterfield Station Master is addicted to alcohol. The hue of his face and his nose in particular can confirm this without any doubt. His wife takes good care of him. In spite of this, he is lazy, distracted, and obviously not in a position to perform his duties well. Hmm. Is 
So then we've got the, the mines were blasted. The mines are collapsed. Concealment, the mines were collapsed to hide the train. Dynamite was used after the train was moved inside. Sabotage, the mines were collapsed with dynamite. Somebody wanted to close them intentionally. I'm not too sure just yet, but... We'll go with that. Rails to the mines are missing. Need more clues for that. Oh, I can hear something coming from in there. Sounds like a fucking ghost cave. I'm scared. I'm leaving. Uh, did I explore behind here? Yes, I did. Right, what are we thinking? Um, use the telegraph to discover more about the WEA coal. Examine the side railway branch at Evesham. Examine the side wall area branch that can lead to the quarry at the station located between Chesterfield and Evesham. So it wants me to locate the side station here, but first things first, we can also send a telegram from here, I think. Let's do that first. Hello, I would like to send a telegram, please. I am in all of the wrong places. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. Where was your bloody telegraph office? Was it? Oh, it was in here, I think. Doop -de -boop -boop -boop. <sighs> Contact Mycroft. I asked Mycroft to find out some information on the WEA Coal Company. Here is his reply, and it is an interesting one. There are two companies, the Chilean Barcazas and the Mexican Caracal. Both wanted to purchase the WEA coal mines. The Mexican Caracal Consortium has established an initial deal, uh, had established an initial deal, and had prepared all the papers. However, the Chilean Barcazas group, aided by their influential connections, managed to snatch the concluding deal for the mines. Okay. Does that does that help? Does that help? Um, No grudge. The Mexicans held no grudge against the Chileans. Business is business, after all. Well, we don't know that. Okay. Uh, that's that done at least. There was a couple of side rails that we needed to investigate as well, wasn't there? Uh, the side railway branch at Evesham. I'm at Evesham. How do I investigate the side railway branch? Can I just run to it? Oh, wait. 
Is it the... Oh, fuck's sake. Is it the other direction? I'm very sorry, uh, uh, Watson. You have to run with me. This way, my good fellow. Bom, 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 bom. Aha. There was a building here not so long ago. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? It was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. It was disassembled in great haste because... It was... Used... To build... The railway car. That was used to steal. The train. Traces. Let's take a closer look. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. So this one is wider and heavier than the one at the mines. But does that mean anything for us? This road should lead to the town of Evesham. Let's have the side rail branch at Evesham. Okay, there's still something to find here. What should we do next, Holmes? I think we just spanner about a little bit until a pop-up appears and I can say aha my dear Watson a clue Anything else my super detective vision can spot? I think no. Definitely nothing to do with this. Detective Holmes. Perhaps this guy can tell us something. It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station and that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. 
But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. And why would anyone want to? See you later, my good man. Hmm. Stolen rails. Rails are missing. Road into the mines. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the railway into the mines. Which leads us to... The train is sealed underneath the collapsed mine. Maybe. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. I think there's probably some more people to talk to. Let's go back to um where are we? We're at Evesham. What was this station? Doncaster? What are we at Doncaster for? Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Okay, let's go do that then. We'll also talk to this chap. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. He's got a liar's face. Oh, it's melancholy, apparently. He doesn't wear a watch. He has a missing button. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. What am I checking? Um, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. What are you, insane? Watson, would you like some tea? No. <laughs> nope. Uh. 
A funny character. He looks anxious. And he is not an Englishman. Indeed. Hmm. This scent is familiar to me, but in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, no me provoca nada. That's now up or down. Could be that I need to do it this way. That makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? You go there, you go there. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo, you already know the name of this man. Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. An expensive Mexican cigar, eh? This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveler or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Hmm. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Okay. How the turntables. What should we do next, Holmes? Go talk to the man, Watson. Newspaper articles on horse racing, hurdle, steeplechase, and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Betting slips for horse racing. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. Telegraph. This man has used all of his savings. Observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction, but it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. 
Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. Watson, it seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. I would love to. Where did he go? <laughs> Watson. <laughs> Not in here. You gained some exercise there, Watson. That's very good. Very good of you. Well done. Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. He's got wrinkles. Martial arts. Chile, but you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Wait, what did the burned note say? Uh, a burned note that was found in the ashtray at Doncaster Waiting Hall. It has a few legible sentences that highlight a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. Because of your cigars. See, si, cigarrillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. I don't suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. Buenas Astardes. Not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. What should we do next, Holmes? Right, so we now have Suspicious Mexican. The Mexicans held no grudge against the Chileans, business is business. Mexicans are angry. The Mexican Caracal Company held a grudge against the Chilean Barcazas Group as the Chileans were favoured for purchasing the coal mines despite the Mexicans' preliminary sales contract. Yep. Which leads us to... Mexican trap. The Mexicans organized the Chileans stay on the train. That is why the controller removed all of the passengers except for the Chileans.
Then we have flooded quarry. Okay, we still have a bit more to do. Examine the side railway branch that leads to the quarry. Examine Doncaster Railway Station for suspicious details and clues. Inspect the beach area. Oh, okay, so we still need to find things around here. And we still need to explore the beach area. But I don't understand what that means, because this is... this. Does it mean, like, literally just this bit? There's nothing here. You know? There's nothing here. There's a different beach. <laughs> Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster Station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. Which is the same as the ones that were stolen from Eve. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. Okay, that's good to know. This place was abandoned fairly recently. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. Hmm. Las Zarpas. A label with the name Las Zarpas. Which was the guy with the fishing line in his pocket? Was that the drunkard? An abandoned gypsy caravan. Okay, Los Arpas. What is Las Zarpas? Uh, what have we got? Newspapers, encyclopedias.
Railway bankruptcy something something. Technology, history, medicine, botany, history, Greek, Napoleon, Roman, Prussian, Egypt, it ain't going to be none of them. Technology, Edison machine, ah, the last Zarpas barges are leaders in heavy goods transportation. The last Zarpas label belongs to the Mexican consortium Caracal, who cover shipping, electricity services and mining. Here it is. We also have the Mexican. Judging by the expensive brand of this man's cigars and the clothes that he wears, we may conclude that he is financially wealthy. The strong smell of tobacco surrounds him and his breathing is harsh, indicating that he has been smoking heavily for the past few days. The backs of his hands are red and calloused, the sign of a man who is well practiced in the martial arts. And Station Master of Doncaster is in a fairly depressed state. He may be recently divorced owing to the mark left by the ring on his ring finger. His clothes are untidy and it appears that he finds his single life quite difficult. His master's watch is missing. It could be lost or stolen or even pawned if he is in desperate need of money. Which we know is probably the case because um, he's a gambling addict. Any. Right, so what do we need to do? Examine Doncaster and examine the side railway branch that leads to the quarry. Okay, let's go back to there then. The side railway branch. Examine the side railway branch that leads to the quarry at the station located between Chesterfield and Evesham. Chesterfield, Evesham. Oh, that must be Doncaster is talking about then. I'm so sorry. Right, where's the side? 
car then. Hmm. You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. Is that right, sir? But I can this see. This railway branch should lead to the quarry. Let us take a look. The switch is rusted, but it still works. The rail is rusted and looks old, but the railway is still usable. The railway ends here. That is strange. Hmm. Old railway to the quarry, flooded quarry. The train could have been sunk in the flooded quarry at Doncaster Station. The train cannot be sunk in the flooded quarry because the old railway that leads there is missing some rails. Yeah, but if we say could be sunk, then it can't be concealed. So if we say cannot be sunk, then that takes us back to inside the mines. Old railway to the quarry, the stolen rail track, which gives us Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of old railway, or somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of railway into the mines. Quarry or mines. I do think it's inside the mine still. We have barges. The Mexicans had recently utilized barges at the lake, probably to transport something very heavy. We still have the Doncan Doncaster telegram. <sighs> Examine Doncaster Railway for suspicious details and clues. Okay. Obviously missed something. Let me go and check this guy first. Do you have anything to say about these? Uh, You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. You do not have anything to say about that. Okay. I still can't go in there. Definitely nothing you want to uh, reveal to me, Doncaster Station. This is the tickets. That's where the guy keeps leaving from.
What else are they suggesting could be suspicious around here? This leads back into the other side. That's a warehouse. I've been in multiple times now. Anything on the railway track itself, maybe. Not that way. All these trains and railway stations, Chileans, Mexicans, and Robinson with his prototype at homes, I'm utterly lost. Yeah, me too, buddy. There's supposedly still something suspicious around here as well. But I could not tell you what. Examine Doncaster Railway Station for suspicious details and clues. That is where I am. But where did that Mexican go? What if I want to question him again? Is there like a particular door you have to walk in for him to appear? I think it's this one, normally, isn't it? What about this one? This one. This ashtray is full of. A yes, we already established this. There's nothing else for me to learn. Oh, okay. Um. Maybe we start from the beginning. Because we have the Doncaster Telegram. Reported by Telegraph the arrival and departure of the vanished train. Yeah, actually, what was that Doncaster Telegraph?
Where is the Doncaster Telegraph? I am a little bit lost and confused. Excuse me, sir. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. Okay, nothing here. Let's talk to the guy in Chesterfield. Talk to someone in Chesterfield, at least. A fishing advertisement. Ah, oh, will I ever get any peace? I'm sorry, fucking hell. No sense in asking the station master to open it. We shall have to pick the lock. Okay. Floor scratches. Bags were recently dragged here. French wine, a remarkable vintage. These bottles are too expensive for a station master's wage. They were likely taken from the parcels. Shameful. Hmm. French wine. A ro These tools were used quite recently. They are still muddy. We should ask about them. So at Chesterfield, there are muddy tools and bottles provided as gifts. That does make sense, actually. So somebody gave him the gift of alcohol. The gift of alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where is he? I am lost. Seriously, what happened to him? He's there, I can see him. <sighs> you have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here. Ah, oh, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line, so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink. <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. Ah, oh, will I ever get any... All these trains and railway stations...
to lift up, so that must be from Doncaster. Find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. For fuck's sake. I thought I was getting somewhere. Hello, I wonder if. If there's anything else to discover down here now that I know that tools were used. No. Come on, Holmes, you can get through doorways. I have great faith in you in that regard. A telegraph. A telegraph. Right, where's my mate the Mexican gone? He's just completely up and vanished. And I still have to do that. There are a number of recently used tools at Chesterfield Station. There are no signs of activity around this station. Okay. So let's do a very quick sweep of the railway. Like here. We already did um, the other bit. There's nothing really. Oh, I wish that guy would talk to me, asshole. I think I'm probably at the point where I'm quite happy, I think, that the Chileans did it just yet.
Not the Chileans, sorry, the Mexicans. That fucking suspicious ass guy. Right. I will not move from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a scandal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't touch anything, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is the line everyone got told to get off at, isn't it? Then there's the railway switch. Chesterfield has said nothing. There's got to be something at Doncaster. There's got to be something at Doncaster. Has to be. Doncaster Station Master reported by telegraph the arrival and departure of the vanished train. Uh, Chileans were left. That's definitely almost certain. And the Mexicans are angry, which leads us to say the Mexicans organized the Chileans stay on the train. This is why the controller removed all of the passengers except for the Chileans. Yes. If I say he's a victim here. Because if that's true, that means this prototype's... Uh, the whole, like, my prototype's been stolen. It's got nothing to do with it. That might actually just be a complete coincidence. And then let's say... It never passed through Chesterfield. The station master was drunk and his testimony seems unreliable. He could have sent the report. Somebody stole the rails to cover the missing section of the old railway to the flooded quarry, for example. And then if we say it could be sunk. And then the mines were collapsed with dynamite. Somebody wanted to close them intentionally. That leads us to the train has been sunk in the flooded quarry. So if we say it did pass Chesterfield, he was drunk, but he sent the ridiculously rambled telegram anyway. They were stolen to cover up the missing section of the old railway. The Mexicans had recently utilised barges at the lake, probably to transport something very heavy. Which means... It had to be something to do with the flood. Still obviously missing a fairly one last piece of evidence. But 
What is it? You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. What is it? Let's do another round. Just in case there's something I've missed. Anything around here, anything at all. all right, what rooms do we have here? We have the waiting hall, we've got left luggage. Oh, have I been in left luggage actually? Do I keep running past it? <laughs> Railway post bags. I haven't even been in this room for fuck's sake, Catan. This post bag belongs to the station master. A letter to a lawyer. Cornwall Advocate Agency, Main Road BR 69HJ Bromley. In reply to your last warning letter, I wish to assure you that I shall soon honour all of the latest instalments that I need to pay according to my debts. So he's in debt to his lawyer. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. Seven Alpine Street, Nottinghamshire. My darling, I ask you to trust me this time. I shall soon have more than enough money to repay the house mortgage. It's only a matter of days. You may continue living in the house without me, since that is your wish. Please know that I still care about you and hope that you will forgive me one day, despite all of the harm I've caused in recent years. Doncaster Master received money. The train passed through Doncaster Station. The Station Master reported it. The train never passed through Doncaster. The Station Master lied and sent a false report. Perhaps he was bribed with the money he desperately needed. Which all leads to... The Mexicans drowned the Chileans. Oh, is that the last? I found all the clues. Nice. Okay. I do want to talk to this guy, though. You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. I think you'll find I did find something interesting. Um... This is Mexican drowned Chileans. It was carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train in a flooded quarry to hide their crime. The Mexicans' inhumanity towards the Chileans has cost many lives. We must act quickly, contact Lestrade, and allow the police to perform their loud and swift justice, even at the risk of international conflict or political game, 
A criminal organization such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. Give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict, even though it might be protracted and turned to his own advantage. Yeah. I don't know if this does anything, like if it means anything, but what would Holmes do? I don't think he'd do that, but then he also, like, would he... Yeah, go on. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. Our other option is Brother Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble but it will be a long and drawn-out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. But I think I'd prefer to give Mycroft a chance. We should overlook our personal differences on this occasion. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson... We know that the Barcazas Company directors were drowned in the flooded quarry, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh no, please don't tell me we have to dive into the lake. Huh. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster Station Master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Well, the case is solved, and we shall be heading home. And may we have two tickets to London, please? Right away, but... Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case? In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. He pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk. But he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalists will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Good goodbye, gentlemen. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double-crossed me! Whoops.
Good shot, Watson. I always knew you were a talented marksman. I didn't want another life lost in this case, Holmes. Oh my god! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. By the way, Watson, would you be so kind as to give me some shooting lessons later on? Yes, but not in our sitting room and not with you wearing a blindfold. <laughs> uh, riddle on the rails. It was a carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train to hide their crime. The dam breach was played to their advantage. They used their own barges to keep the train on the run for a few seconds and then sank it into the flooded quarry. The railway tracks were removed to hide the crime. A crime organization uh, such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. The decision was made to give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict. Clues found 23, Mexican drowned Chileans, political game. Well, I don't understand why it says it'll spoil your experience to see if you got it right or not. Nice. I accept. I'm now neutral. I get the feeling this never tells me how many other people... Uh, maybe the servers have, have gone or something. Bloodbath. Holmes, what happened? I feel deathly. And you look it. Let me examine you. Please don't tell me that you've returned to your old habits. Oh yeah, he was a uh, opium addict, wasn't he? The pupil is dilated. The pupil is dilated. Yes. The temperature appears to be normal. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. What? Measure the pulse by counting the heartbeats for 10 seconds. A weak pulse, around 50 beats per minute. But you're dying, Holmes. Your pulse rate is dropping. We need to get you to the hospital immediately. The antidote. <laughs> Give it to me. The antidote? You mean that you're poisoned? No. Please. Here, drink it all. Don't tell me that you did this to yourself. Hemlock and the Tura. I was compelled to. Holmes, imagine if I'd not returned home when I did. What might have happened? <laughs> I knew that you would. Mr. Holmes, Inspector Lestrade is here to see you. Mr. Holmes is unable to see anyone at the moment. He is unwell. A good day, Inspector. Ah, Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to find you here. I need your help. This is a strange one. We have brought in two young bankers from the city, sons of lords, members of the chamber, and so on and so forth. They were found stranded in a rowing boat that was drifting on the Thames. A romantic escapade with an unhappy ending, Lestrade. What? Well, yes, they were both in the bath, but... Uh, what? As I said. And they were tied together. You are lacking in imagination, Inspector. Well, no, I'm not. Anyway, there was a banner flapping about in the boat with the RMS Oceanic printed on it and signed by the Merry Men. The Oceanic? Isn't that the largest steamer ever built? Yes. 
And these two young banker chaps are sons of the owners of the White Star Line, the company that built it. There are rumors of corruption. I'm not interested in politics, Lestrade. I'll keep it then. Here's another one that's a bit more complex and maybe to your liking. It's a murder, but we're unable to find any weapon. We haven't touched anything. It's at the Roman Baths in Strand Lane. A murder, a vanishing weapon, the Roman Baths. That's for us. Watson, fetch your hat. <laughs> um, very good. Very good. Wait, what was that? Tab. The harpoon that was used. And a train whistle. Lovely. And then this is my chronicle. Riddle on the rails. Good. Join Lestrade at Strand Lane Baths. Uh, we will, however, pick that up next time. Thank you very much for watching. Case 2 has been solved. Uh, tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I'm playing D&D &D tomorrow. Tuesday, probably. We will continue our escapades with Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Take it easy. Goodbye.